welcome back to my channel. I feel like I never ever introduce myself, but my name is BB and I'm doing these pregnancy updates. I think the last one I did was up to 19 weeks. So today I'm doing mind blowing, so prepare yourself. <clears throat> today I'm doing 20 to 32 weeks because I am 32 weeks pregnant. So I find it better to do that versus doing one every single week because one, that is exhausting. Um, and then two, I feel like uh, once you get to a certain part of pregnancy, I feel like the symptoms and things are repetitive and it's kind of like sort of you already know what to expect. And then not only that, but I feel like there's so many of these videos already out there that if you have one where everything is meshed all together, I feel like you get more sense of knowing what's before and after if it's through that same like time frame. So if I'm doing 20 to 32 weeks, and it's like all together, uh, I feel like it'd be good. Also, I'm gonna leave all of the notes that I've been taking throughout in the description, like down below, so that you can read through like what I was feeling at 30 weeks, what I was feeling at 25 weeks, so that you can read through them instead of putting timestamps in each one, because I feel like that's like a whole lot faster, or I might do that and also put timestamps, it depends. The first thing is I don't normally sound like this, but I'm stuffy up here and then my eyes because of the season and it's just like, I feel like it's allergies. So just bear with me. And then um, I'm home today with Sebastian because he is sick. So we're going to do this and we're just going to, I'm sorry for the audio because I'm in a different room and then for the way I sound because I'm stuffy. But starting with 20 weeks, the first thing is frequent movements, like you start feel I started feeling the movements more often, which was like wonderful because I was like always questioning when are you gonna start moving? Like always trying to fill my belly, like, uh, where's all like all the movement? Like when is it happening? You know, like I was when you are first pregnant, you start thinking, I want to like feel all of the movements. At twenty weeks that was like the most pronounced thing and I feel like that's when I'm starting to get my energy back because I felt more energized but because of the movement I was also feeling heart burn way more pronounced so those are the three things that stood out to me at 20 weeks and I was like oh I love the energy I love all the baby movements and flutters because at this point I think prior to this I was just feeling flutters and then now I'm actually feeling movement which is still like difficult for anyone else to to feel but I feel it so it was like wonderful but because of the movement I feel like I was feeling heartburn a lot more at 21 weeks the um the movement is definitely like pronounced to where I could feel it with my hands so if I felt my belly I could not only feel the movement inside me but also like with my hands which was like amazing and um we also did the anatomy scan, so we have ultrasounds, which I forgot to get those, so let me go get those for a second. But uh, my, my belly, uh, so I was 21 weeks, and I was measuring 22 weeks. Like, you know when they measure you, like when they take the, the little um, paper that they measure your belly from like your pelvic bone all the way to your, like the top of your ribcage? I was 21 weeks, but I was measuring 22, so I was like, it's okay, it's just because he's like, you know, a little boy. And uh, we did our belly uh, measurements, 22 inches, and then we did the ultrasound. And in the ultrasound, the uh, they were able to see that he was like 15 ounces. So that was super awesome. I um, have to get up again to go get the ultrasound pictures because I do want to share those because we also found out that it is a boy. So it was so exciting. And I think I have a video for that. I just need to upload it soon um because i don't know if i even have it together which at this point maybe it'll come after this one but yeah we found out that we're having another little man which was super cool they gave us a ton of pictures so i'm just basically going to show like the profile and like little things like when you can see his little hand so like there's him and his little face with his little hand like they gave us a ton this is like front and back and then this is where you know they tell us that it's a boy so that's like super exciting and uh it was pretty awesome but anyways needless to say they gave us like tons of little pictures this is like front and back like it's just a never-ending like little super excited about that because i don't think we got any of these for sebastian so 22 weeks 
Jeffrey finally feels the baby moon for the first time because he had to think all these times. I was telling him, hey, I can feel. Can you feel? And then he would put his hand on my belly and he would say, no, I can't. But at 22 weeks, he did. He felt it for the first time and he was like, I did feel that. So that was extremely exciting. Um, and you can actually uh, see that the acne on my face was getting way better. Like now, I have makeup on right now, of course, but like before you could even see it through the makeup. It was so awful. So it was getting a whole lot better. I can tell that and during that second trimester, it was like, you know, good. Um, so I did start feeling better and, um, 23 weeks, um, at 23 weeks, I was not as tired. Like first trimester I was sleeping, but at 23 weeks, I'm not as tired. And I can tell that my energy would pick up. Like I was motivated to clean the house, to declutter, to get all of these things done and say, Hey, I want things from this room, move to this room. This is what we're going to do. Just ordering around, man, like all these things. Um, I did. One thing though, it noticed that my belly was getting firm. Like before it was sort of squishy and then I could tell at 23 weeks that it was sort of getting firmer. And like for you guys, I did not take pictures of my belly all the time, but I did take videos. So I will sort of insert some here. I think I have one at like 25 weeks where it's sort of pronounced, but not fully there. But things right like that. Um, and I was getting up to pee regularly. So like that was a thing at 23 weeks. That was tough. Having to get up to the restroom to pee like constantly. I feel like even in the middle of the night and um, all that stuff. But I was full of energy and then I uh, definitely could feel my firm belly. At 24 weeks, the heartburn. Oh my goodness. The heartburn was just so bad. It was like nonstop. No matter if I ate ice, it was just like so crazy. The only thing that I could do that would help me calm it down was drink milk, yogurt, or like I would do those little go-go, like those on-the-go yo play, like little yogurts, because I feel like milk was the only thing that helped me settle it down. And I feel like I'm lactose intolerant, but during pregnancy, drinking milk and eating um, yogurt and cheese and stuff doesn't bother me as much as when I am not pregnant. Like when I'm not pregnant, if I drink milk, or stuff like that it upsets my stomach but I feel like with during pregnancy because my body's going through all these things it's just absorbing everything that I'm intaking and it doesn't bother me so one of the things that I did crave was cereal with milk and I'm not a big fan of cereal and milk but I ate that a lot during that 24th week because of the heartburn I was like I just want cereal with milk I actually ate that last night as well so that's one of those things that I have been craving um, and then I also, at this point, the movements are very aggressive. I feel like at this point, like at this point, I could actually feel the movements like very pronounced and sometimes they would even, even be painful a little, but it wasn't like, you know, if he like stretched, like I felt, or if he stretched, I feel like I can't breathe. Um, yeah. So there was moments where it was like, I felt it up here and I was like, oh my, where is he? Because I feel like I cannot breathe. And then also being out of breath. So I pronounced heartburn, I'm out of breath, um, and then I can feel the movements, like, very pronounced. And then my acne was, like, way better, and uh, shortness of breath. 25 weeks, so my belly was measuring 25 inches, which means that it's normal from the, what it's supposed to be measuring at 25 weeks. I took my glucose test, and I did well, like, I passed, I don't have any preterm diabetes or anything like that so that was wonderful um and and I'm not anemic sugar looks good blood pressure was good and then um my belly was getting firmer and then very pronounced like movements and the belly's like really firm but I can totally feel like all of the movements that I had and then mood swings like at 25 weeks I feel like I had the most mood swings I would be happy then sad then upset for no reason at all whatsoever like there was no reason for it it was just today i'm just having a, a bad case of i'm gonna be happy and then two seconds later i'm gonna be excited happy and then um, i'll cry <laughs> i felt that at 25 weeks which was insane but here we are at 26 weeks um i started nesting so i feel like that's when i got the most burst of energy like oh i need to get this house in order like i need to get sebastian's bed together like we need to clean out 
the old nursery and make that the new nursery and move Sebastian into a bigger room so that he can have his toy area and also just the whole nesting situation and going to get furniture that we need that I've been putting off because I am the worst when it comes to trying to send money like I on big items like I feel like small ticket items I'm really good at just giving it up because I'm not that pronounced of it but if it's like a furniture purchase I'm like eh, I can do without but I didn't that and and I think that's the video that I uploaded previous um so that was the 26 weeks and then my skin significantly improved I feel like that is the best that it has looked like even with no makeup on I think the only thing I have is just like a little bit of redness and a little bit of scarring that usually takes about months to go away of course because I'll it'll pick back up at the end of pregnancy and then after um delivery but I feel like a year or so after it should get better for me um 27 uh craving foods so at 27 weeks I feel like I've been craving more foods and I'm not a craving uh person where I think of something and then I'm like oh like I really want to eat that or where I think of something and like I want to eat it just say that I think I did but I'm more of like a visual craving person like if I see something on TV and it's a food item I'm like oh I need to go eat some of that if I see someone eating something I'm like that looks good okay let me go get some of that um things like that so I'm more of like a uh, like if I see someone eating something like that's sort of kind of like the craver that I am um I crave food that I, I see I'm like a visual craver um and then one, uh, occasionally I'll want like certain things. Like I think we, uh, corn, cheese, soup, anything creamy, um, that would, I don't know. I think I was wanting something creamy or cheesy or milky because I wanted stuff that would, um, help my heartburn because I think heartburn was really like, uh, it was like I needed milk in my diet. Some like that, um that situation and then to the point where I was snacking on cereal and milk which I mentioned and then cookies and milk which I don't really do often because I'm not like a sweet person like I don't like sweet items I'm more of like a salty snacker but this is the most I've ever had milk and cereal and milk and cookies and then one thing that I did I saw someone in a vlog eating crawfish so then we had to go find crawfish so we went somewhere and ate crawfish that was like very random, but that was one of those things that happened.